All right, it is Friday morning, so my favorite guy is back with me today. Hello. We're back on track. Hey, happy New track. Year, Jenna. Happy Let me give New you a big old I haven't seen you since before I the New know, Year. Time. I know you went to Indiana oh God, and uh, you left us here for the basically <laughs> holidays all alone. <laughs> and uh, I missed your Christmas party. I missed everything. Oh, right? I know, so much happened. And uh, another blowout Christmas party. We had over 600 people, and the new congressman and his whole staff was there. Mm -hmm. He's such a nice the guy, Joe Garcia. Mm -hmm. And he also had his uh, swearing in at the San Carlos here, which was a first for Key West. And uh, we actually have that on the cover of this week's Con Color. All right, so this is the cover right there. With yeah, we got the new congressman and his, and his beautiful parents. And uh, so, anyway. Uh, we got it all right here in this week's Con So much in this week's Con Color, by the way. Everything we did over the holidays. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and the New Year's Eve celebration. I love the photos that you had of Sushi. In yeah, we have Sushi in the Shoe Shoe Drop. And she mm -hmm. actually had 10,000 people there this year. I mean, it's gotten become explosive. The event is so big. It truly is. And, and her, her outfit each year, I think it gets better. Mm -hmm. Better each year she does it, right? Well, this was like the 15th year. Yeah. And, uh, well, amazing. the green. She did a great job picking mm -hmm. out that green outfit. And, I think it was perfect. And, you know, CNN televises that worldwide. Mm -hmm. I mean, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Key West is also mm -hmm. you know, remembered for. I, I think I watched it even before I moved to Key West mm -hmm. years ago. I remember watching it. You, you were a little girl and said, who's that drag queen up there? <laughs> <laughs> and little did I know, right, that here. You would sushi. one day be <laughs> among all the people, yeah. <laughs> well, what else do you have in here, Tom? You oh, know, oh so here. let's see. Well, we have all so many uh, Christmas and holiday and Hanukkah parties. In fact, the uh, our local synagogue, B'nai Zion, had its 125th anniversary. You know, it's the oldest synagogue in South Florida. And Rabbi Dudai hosted it. It was just wonderful. And I was mm -hmm. at the head table with a rabbi. It was so beautiful. And then we also had the swearing in of the new congressman at the San Carlos. And his whole family was there. And it, it was packed. It was a beautiful event. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, all the local events. Uh, Gene Carper's Gala New Year's Eve party. And uh, Vera Schiff's Gala New Year's Day party. And... Uh, the Freshettes party, and I, we just got so much in here. And our good friend Joey Schroeder, who owns Bourbon Street in 801, we got his birthday party in here. And, uh, and you've been going to all these events, too. I am back on track, it seems. I get so tired, I can't see straight. But, I mean, you know, I'm back and almost running. You know, I, I'm walking with a cane still, but I'm... You know, my feet are getting stronger every day, mm -hmm. so I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You absolutely are, and I know you have a busy couple of weeks. It doesn't stop for you. No, it just it keeps going, and in fact, right now, starting, I believe, today at the San Carlos, is the Key West Literary Seminar, which is always a huge deal when you get authors from all over the world, mm -hmm. the literati, if you will. Right. And, um, and they do have a free seminar to the public this Sunday. So yes. So people want to attend that. I oh, know yeah. that's still open. It's very exciting, very mm -hmm. exciting. And uh, let's see, and then a week from um, tomorrow, I'm hosting my second annual Martin Luther King dinner. And our new college president, Dr. Guevara, will be the keynote speaker. And our Coast Guard commander, uh, Dr. I mean, not Dr. Commander Al Young, will be the uh, next speaker, and uh, we're so lucky to have such prominent members of the African-American community involved with us here, and Absolutely. so uh, they will be there to uh, speak. So I'm just so flattered that we have such a great crowd, and uh, you know, and I, Conk Color and I, we support diversity in every realm, and uh, so we believe we're all one human family and that we're all God's children, so we bring everybody together, and we love that, we love that. And that's what I love about your paper, you can see that each week, Tom, mm -hmm. you do a good job of that. Well, now, where did you say your Martin Luther King? It's going to be at my house, okay, uh, 314 Simonton, and it'll be a week from Saturday at 6 o'clock in the evening, and uh, we have a free dinner. And uh, you can't beat that. No, you can't. And so you do so many different things at Cafe Antigua, don't you? Tom? Well, we try. We try. And you know, this coming month, I'm very proud. We're having a one-man concert by 
legendary folk artist uh, Paul Stuckey, uh, Peter, oh, Paul, really? and Mary, mm -hmm. and you know those songs like "Blowing in the Wind" and "If I Had a Hammer and Felt the Magic Dragon." He's going to do all of those right there at your house. At my I house, I have to go to that. And, and I mean, it's going to be spine tingling because he mm -hmm. turned 75 recently, and that's uh, crazy. I've seen mm -hmm. him. I wouldn't mm -hmm. guess that age. Mm -hmm. I guess I would guess that age only because I know of his past. Mm -hmm. Well, I grew success. up singing a song, right. and I'm no spring chicken, but anyway, <laughs> so yeah, he's up there. And uh, But he's the sweetest guy, and his wife Betty's wonderful too. Mm -hmm. I love them, I love them. And then following that, also next month, we have the uh, reception for the Vienna Choir Boys with the Key West Symphony Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's like 50 of the boys, and uh, they're an amazing vocal group, mm -hmm. known worldwide. They travel worldwide, and this will be their first appearance in Key West, and in Florida, by the way. Well, that is very exciting. And speaking of the symphony, don't forget to make your way out to Tennessee Williams tonight for Epic Heroes. That's Hero right. And their goddesses. And I had dinner last night with a soloist uh, uh, for the concert tonight, and they're just beautiful girls, beautiful girls, and so talented. Oh, my goodness. So uh, <laughs> It will be a show that you don't mm -hmm. want to miss. Mm -hmm. You definitely have a busy weekend planned for you, and it sounds like a busy couple of weeks. Oh, um, yes, it thank is. Thank you for sharing all this oh, sure, sure. info with our guests this morning, and it's wonderful to see you back on the show and moving around. Guys. Well, I mean, there's so much going on. Holy cow. And <laughs> I, I just feel so thrilled to, one, number one, be alive after what I went through, but secondly, to have all this going on. It is so exciting to live here. This is the most exciting place in the world to live, and I can't imagine anywhere living anywhere but Key West. It's a, it is paradise. It is a beautiful place. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning. I hope you all have a great and safe weekend. Join me back here Tuesday at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. And have a great 2013, everybody. That's right. Can you believe it's 2013 No! <laughs> It'll be okay